Now that's the kind of cut you want to look for. Unfortunately, I'm here as the tide's coming in, so I don't have a lot of time to hit that. But I'm going to run that strip right now. Got a really high signal, 98, 99 out of this hole. Generally, I'm not really sure what that high signal would pull out, but there is something interesting looking right there. I'd say it's either copper or brass. It looks browner than gold. And it's got some kind of measuring units on it. That's cool. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what that comes off of. I don't see any actual script on it, but it's a measuring tool, maybe something off a boat. Maybe something to look up. I like it. Sweet. Here's another strange find I just popped out of that little hole. There's a high signal again coming in as probably copper. It looks a lot like a part of a watch. Almost looks like it's been melted. Was in a fire. Hmm. Not sure. Another mystery piece. I'm going to say it's part of a pocket watch. It's very rare that I do a live dig, but I got a really good high signal here. Usually the live dig just jinx it. I'm saying it's a regular quarter, but it could be something decent. So I am going to give it a first scoop live dig and see if I get it to scoop. Yeah. I'm look and see. First scoop. Did not get it in there. So let's see if I can pinpoint it again. It's a little deeper. So I'll go one deeper. I'm right on it. Man, I'm saying I like it. It's deeper. Oh, there it is. It just popped out. From the looks of it, it's just a clad quarter. Yes, it is. It's old. It's not silver. 19... 1990. There's some cool little patina on it. But I just pulled a nickel out of the spot right there, which means I might be in a coin line, which means a lot of coin and possibly artifacts around the same weight and size could have been deposited in this area along this line. Just swiped up a key in this little hole. I'm not really sure how old it is. Looks like it's been here a while. Yale. It's got some script on top. And the side's pretty beat up. And I just pulled out a quarter, 77 quarter right there. So it might be another section of older stuff. Sun's out and my battery's going dead. But I'm gonna get one more video in, and this is as rare as it gets in a space like this. I wasn't really expecting any older coins, but I've been getting quarters and nickels, quarters and nickels, and then one of the nickels came up in Indian. Buffalo nickel. It's not gonna be any date on that because they get worn out pretty easy because the date is elevated on that front side of the coin. That's usually the first thing that gets worn out. Buffalo nickel. find a cut like this where the sand has been brought in for beach replenishment. I think I have my first signal that isn't a bullet that has some history to it. In the scoop it looks like some kind of brass snap or buckle. It's tiny. Pick it up. And it's got some design to it. Look at that. This piece obviously is broken off some kind of buckle. I'm going to say that's around World War II-ish range because that's the bullets I'm finding. It's got a nice little design on it. Sweet. I got all that one. Pull another peculiar target out of that hole right there closer to the water. I've been hitting really close to the, the edge there. Cut. And this came out of the hole. 
it appears to be. I'm going to say it's on the bronzer side. I don't really look fishing related, but again, I've never seen anything like that. Next target, coming in a little deeper now. Here's like a, probably the end of some kind of fork or spoon. It looks on the silver side because it is darker. It's kind of beat up though. It's old. It's got some design on that end. That's pretty cool. Not sure how old that is. It looks silverish, but it didn't ring up silver. It rang up more, probably like a pewter. Another signal out of this hole, and it is penny size. And based on the artifacts that I've been pulling up, I know it's got to be on the older side. Of course, it also didn't ring up as a regular clad penny, but it is beat up. I know it's hard to see, but I am getting the impression that that is an Indian head penny. And there, oh, yeah, there it is. I don't know if you can see it. Right by my thumbnail is an 18, 1880 something. Oh, yeah, there it is. Indian head penny. I have some age here. Okay, here's another decorative kind of snap. Uh, I can see some some artwork on that that looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what kind of snap this is. I've never seen anything like it. But it definitely has some cool... I don't know if there's any writing on that. something to check out when I get home. There it is. How cool is that? Found a freshly plowed, dirty area on the beach. And of course, this is when I was just about getting ready to leave. I got a good signal, popped it out of that hole. It's looking like a dime size and a little darker than if it was a clad dime. And sure enough, it's a lady, another mercury dime. This will be here a few more minutes, 1944 double fours. And about eight steps later after that last Pretty beat up Merc. I do have another silver dime. It's not quite as tarnished, but it sure looks like a silver dime. I'm guessing this is not clad. And it's another Merc. Second Merc in a row. 1940, 40 something. I think you can see that better than I can. 49 maybe, sweet. Twin marks. And not uh, four more steps did I get a higher silver signal and that hole pulled out something much bigger than a dime. And I'm thinking that is a quarter. I know it's silver, but I am not sure what kind it is. Without scratching the rest of it off, that is a silver Washington. Nice little silver area here.